Hello there this morning. How you doing? Well, you're thinking about buying a 3D printer. Well, I'm going to recommend some to you. You can take what I say with a grain of salt because I do a lot of 3D printing. I'm not an expert, far from it. I'm just really an amateur enjoying the hobby. In fact, it can become an obsession with you. If you notice, I'm printing two printers at one time right now. It's the same object, it's uh, seven pieces, but they're quite large. It's gonna be one of them Star Wars figures. I just like printing figures because I just think they're neat. They look good. I like painting them now that I've got a sprayer and I'm not any shape, form, and matter an expert at it. But these printers here are almost bulletproof, I think. There's not a part on them that you can't replace. You can buy the parts, most of them through Amazon, or there's other distributors that I've ran that sell pieces and parts all the time. These printers, this one here is my oldest, and it's pushing five years old, I think, right now, or four and a half. It's a CR-10S. Um, I run my temperature a little bit higher than what the manufacturer recommends because in this room in my house with weather conditions we have, that's what it takes for it to work. I use a adhesive to it. There's a lot of them that use bill plates. This is what I use right here. It works great. Uh, it's nothing more frustrating than to have a printer, a print break loose and you end up with spaghetti the next morning because a lot of times I will let these run all the time. The CR-10 has an automatic shut off, so when it runs out of filament, it will shut down. You got time to reload it, even if it's seven, eight hours later, and it will start right back up. The Ender 3 does not have one. I've never installed it. They tell me that you can buy them for it, but that's just something. I try not to replace anything different or add anything to them because you have to reset programs and I'm not good at that. Now I have replaced fans on these things. I replayed the motherboard. The motherboard on the end of three has been replaced. After I fixed where I screwed up on the wiring, it works great now. So, you know, you can do it. It's nothing, it doesn't take rocket science. Just have to be a little patient and don't lose the screws because they're the hardest part to find. Now, I have three or four boxes of things that I have printed because I run out of shelf space in the house here. And so, and then I fill these shelves up with just stuff I've printed in the last year. I go through phases where I just print and print and print and then I get lazy and go do something else. And it's hot outside, so I can only work about 30 minutes at a time, then I quit. And I'm big on robots and tall figures. I like animated figures that you see. Some of these parts are real easy. Things are easy to make, some are not. There's one of my Star Wars skitters, skitter, griders, whatever you want to call it. Like I say, I like figures because they really look good when you get them finished. A lot of them I've done in just a gray or black color. Now I'm going back now and going to start reprinting them again. Uh, I like dioramas a lot because it looks like you've created something. And I just me. That is just me. And you may be a totally different type deal. There's one of my rolls up right that's the first thing I painted and it looks like it. There's my Volkswagen. I put the little love flower on it. My Sinclair gas station. My Star Wars Mandolin. Oh don't pay no attention to the boots and stuff. It's just something I was printing out. But I printed all that the foam part it's just some styrofoam and all that. That's, believe it or not, baby powder on the walls there. 
and you spray a little adhesive on it and it'll just stick real good and make you all kinds of neat stuff. These are my, probably my oldest prints I've had. And I will print anything and everything just for the heck of it. I have a real hard time printing with or printing miniature because you need to change the tip to a smaller tip to print something real small to get a good figure from it or get a good smooth print. Um, these printers don't print out any kind of toxic fumes or anything like that, so they're real good. If you are going to print, you are going to end up buying a lot of extra stuff. It's an, oh, that's me. Ooh, that's scary as hell. Anyway, there's one of my mandolin. I really like this one. And I'm not a Star Wars fan. I just like the figures. Uh, here's a, I'm fixing a paint Iron Man here. And this is what's printing now. This young lady, this is the torso on her. I gotta have to fall her down, clean her up a little bit, but she's gonna look good. I like skulls. I'm a big skull fan. Oh, he lost his jaw. He's fixing to be some paint added to it. Now, I will tell you this. If you print, start with PLL, PLA, because it's a pretty easy print to work with. Also, don't start out with white. To me, white is harder to print with. Don't start out with some of these fancy colors. You want to get a basic color like black. I use uh, this olive drab green because it prints real easy and I can see the detail work on a print. Uh, black is good, but it's also hard to see the detail. That's why I spray them with a, a gray primer so I can see the details better. But white to me, is a real difficult color to print because it just, I don't know. It's, and it's probably me. I'm not saying the, the film's bad. And pick a brand that you like. Uh, and I use this E-Sun, which has been fine with me. There have been two or three other brands I've used, had no problems with them. They all work good. I just found one and stay with it and use it. Um, but anyway, this is for anybody who's thinking about buying a 3D printer or has one and got started, got frustrated. Hey, go back to it. It's not that hard. It just, you just have to be a little patient with it. And uh, if you ever have any questions about it, feel free to contact me uh, because I will answer as best I can in the most honesty I can and I won't feed you a line of bull. If you have another kind of printer that you like, let me know what it is. I'd like to know too, because you know, I drive a certain kind of car all the time because that's what I like and it's what's comfortable. You may have a better car to drive and I just don't know about it. But anyway, you have a great day. God bless you all. And we'll see you in the funny papers. Okay, bye-bye.